and welcome to Faith on Film, a program that I pray keeps you aware or helps you to stay aware of everything that's happening in the world of faith and family entertainment. Now, a few weeks ago, we lost two great legends of the entertainment world. Uh, one of them was a very close friend of mine, Gavin McLeod, of course, known best as Captain Steubing on The Love Boat. Uh, I've known him for probably 30 years or so, and uh, I can say nothing but great things about him. He was such a wonderful man, very humble, very loving. Uh, so I know I'm going to miss him greatly. The other one was a music legend, B.J. Thomas. Now, I didn't know him personally, but I certainly did know his songs. Uh, Raindrops keep falling on my head. You all remember that one. Or, hey, won't you play another some? Okay, I need to stop because if not, you're all going to turn away. <laughs> So I didn't know him personally, but I do know his cousin, one of his cousins, uh, who actually has been on the show before. I had him on uh, early on when I started doing Faith on Film. So I'm not even going to bother with a whole long introduction of him. All I'm going to do is start off with welcome Tommy Lee Thomas and your wife Mindy. How are you guys? Good. Thank you very much. Good to see you again, Isaac. It's been a while. How have you been? Uh, I hear, yeah, I hear yes. you're in Texas. Now. I am in Texas and I'm loving it. Here, this is what I was told to do now. Hook them horns, hook them horns. I love it. Hook now, this, horns. this right. isn't those, right. those devil horns. This is the cow horns right? or the, cow, the, like the bull horns. <laughs> so right. listen, right. I had no idea that you were related to B.J. Thomas. I've known you for several years as well. And of course, you're Thomas, but I never connected it because you never really mentioned it. Um, but now with, with this passing, uh, you did say to me something about having just a lot of great stories to share, and uh, we'd like to hear all those stories. So just take the rest of the show, man, and let us know about your relationship with B.J. Thomas. Well, thank you, Isaac. Thanks thanks for having us back yeah. on your show, and it's a, it's a pleasure to be here. And, you know, B.J. was my cousin, and I was really, really, really stunned, like I think the rest of the world, to yeah. have uh, uh, heard of his passing like two weeks ago. Tomorrow. Saturday and um, of stage four lung cancer. We knew he had cancer, yeah. but we thought he was going to beat it. So we were really, really shocked to have found that out. Um, BJ was very special to me and uh, my wife, Mindy. Uh, mm -hmm. We were we were especially close to him when we first got married. The first several, I would say the first 10 years of our marriage, we were really close to him. And he was a very special mentor to me. As you know, I've produced several movies. I've been in a lot of commercials. And my wife had, had a career in broadcasting and uh, as a news anchor, and um, BJ was very, very instrumental in encouraging us when we first came to Los Angeles uh, in 1995. And um, he, uh, BJ, helped me essentially helped me raise money for my first movie. Uh, oh. One of the, I'll just tell you, I'll tell mm -hmm. you a story. Uh, one of the people that was a big fan of his uh, that came to one of his concerts at, at the Crazy Horse in Orange <laughs> County. Do you, do you know where the Crazy Horse is? I remember it. Yes. Santa Ana. Santa Ana. Yep. Yeah, the exactly. crazy horses in Santa Ana. And uh, it's one of those uh, honky tonks, I guess. Right. And uh, BJ, BJ played the, the, the crazy horse a few different, several different times. And so we would, we were in the uh, Los Angeles area and we would go down and see him perform. And, you know, uh, his brother Jerry uh, was also always there. His brother Jerry worked for him mm -hmm. uh, at one point, but he didn't. But he wasn't working for him when we <laughs> when we went down to the Crazy Horse. He was kind of already retired. But um, anyway, uh, I got to know one of uh, BJ's fans down there, and, and through BJ and Jerry, uh, this guy ended up putting money into my first feature film. Oh, and nice. so, if it was not for BJ and Jerry, my first movie would have never gotten made. I can tell you. So they're they're BJ and Jerry, not just BJ, but also mm -hmm. Jerry Thomas was instrumental in helping me get my first movie made. And then after we made the movie, I talked to BJ. I said that we got the movie shot. It's a feature film. Do you have a song you can put in the movie? <laughs> I just, I mean, BJ BJ Thomas sold seventy million records in his career. Seventy million. He won the Academy wow. Award for "Raindrops mm -hmm. Keep Falling on My Head," but I'm one of these people. like I don't have any, you know, I don't have any shame. I'm not afraid to ask anybody for anything. Uh -huh. So I said, BJ, because he's my relative. I said, you know, I grew up listening to him. My dad, you know, uh, took me to his concerts when I was a kid and got me, you know, introduced me to my dad. Introduced me to BJ when okay. I was like 19. And for the first time, and believe it or not, I didn't get, I did not get introduced to him until I was 19. I was already working as an actor in television commercials. And um, the long story short, uh, BJ ended up letting us use uh, a song for our first movie, and uh, that got international uh, publicity. Mm -hmm. And so, B 
BJ, if it wasn't for BJ, I would have never done anything uh, in the film business. Do you have anything to say about that? Yeah, absolutely. I re- I'm remembering back to 1996. We had just gotten married, so it's been a quarter of a century right now. <laughs> 20, 20, over 25 years of marriage. That's, That's right. Uh, I know we don't look like it. Um, well, in Texas, you know, it's okay to get married when you're 12, when you're 13, 12. You're in middle yeah. school. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, we, we've had a lot of fun uh, with BJ over the years. And my first memory is when he invited us to Newport Beach and he made a point to, dedic- to dedicate a song to me. Um, and it was just, it was very kind. And I'm sitting there with my new husband, right? And he said, now this one's for Tommy's, you know, and he's got a way with words. So he says, lovely bride, Mindy. <laughs> that was so kind. And then... He's like, uh, I just can't help believing. So then that was like my song. Yeah. And oh, Tom wow. made a point to tell me actually later on that Elvis had sang that song too and made mention of BJ on stage and oh, showed wow. me the clip where uh, that was done. Yeah. Oh, and he told us some behind the scenes stories too of uh, being at Graceland and um, receiving, I think, uh, different gifts and whatnot. And, uh, just some of the exchange there with Elvis. Do you remember that? Yeah, I mean, BJ was pretty much friends with all the top, all the top entertainment, right. entertainment of the nineteen, you know, fifties, sixties, and seventies. And um, his first hit was "I'm So Lonesome I Could Cry" in nineteen sixty six, and then he had "Hooked on a Feeling," and then "Raindrops Keep Falling on My Head" in nineteen seventy, won the Academy Award, which is pretty cool. It was in the movie Butch the Butch. Uh, but Cassidy, Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and and uh, yeah, exactly. Thank you. And um, and then he followed up with uh, I can't, I just can't help believing, which Elvis also sang. But but what was interesting is, uh, you know, we spent we went to we've been at BJ's house and uh, you know, spent time with him. And he told us stories of how he used to sing for Elvis, he would go to Grayson and actually sing for Elvis, like sing for him. Mm-hmm. And that that was really really cool, and perform for Elvis and like entertain Elvis privately in his home, you know. And so that was really really cool to us, nice. and just a huge inspiration. And BJ just, um, you know, what he told me. One of the things he told me, which I always remember, is he says, "Tommy, you have to really love people. If you're going to be successful in the entertainment business, you have to mm-hmm. love people. Uh, you know, you have to love the audience." And I don't know if he was like instructing me or like. You know, lecturing me. I don't know. I don't know why he would think I didn't love people, but <laughs> but he was like in telling me that this is part of it. You know, you, you can't just you can't phone it in. You either you either really like people, you want to entertain people, you want to connect with people, mm-hmm. or you don't, and you won't be successful. And that was one of the things he told me earlier. That's on. right, Tom. You know, that type of advice I took with me actually to my first job, and I applied to be mm-hmm. uh, on radio, right, and. Uh, come to find out it was a Christian radio station. So it was really awesome to to work there for the first time in Oxnard, California, in Ventura, Santa Barbara uh, counties, and um, kind of put my little pinky toe in the you know in the midst of everything going on with with uh, broadcasting. But you know, he had five Grammys, and they were all, if I'm not mistaken, for gospel music. Right, they were all for gospel, which is pretty cool because we're yeah. on a faithful television show. I'll tell you <laughs> yeah. what. Amazing what, Grace being one of them. We need to take a quick break right now because uh, okay. time flies on this. But when we come back, let's share a little bit more about uh, how he influenced your life, and maybe we can find out also a little bit about what you what you've been doing now since since that influence. Right? Sounds great, folks. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Ever wanted to binge watch family-friendly TV without all of the commercials? Well, as a mother of two young children, it's vital that I have a platform I can trust. And 24 Flicks is where I find incredible movies, shows, comedy for me, and for my children as well. And for only $3.99 a month, it's a no-brainer for us. You can join other moms like me by going to 24flicks.com and get your seven-day free trial.
Got a postcard from the grandkids. They went to the ark. Yeah. What does it say? Well, Annie says they had a blast and that it's really, really big. Everything looks big to a six-year-old. Well, Hudson says it's even bigger than the castle. It can't be that big. Can it? Go ahead. Think bigger. Welcome back to Faith on Film. We are here today with Tommy Lee and Mindy Thomas. Uh, Tommy, of course, was uh, cousins to B.J. Thomas, and uh, we've been sharing, uh, or we've been hearing him share some stories of how B.J. influenced, uh, basically, your, could I say your career? 100%. B.J. always influenced my career. Fantastic. Uh, you know, I grew up listening to B.J. Thomas and hearing my dad mm -hmm. sort of brag about the fact that we were related to B.J. Thomas, for lack of a better word. He always, right. I mean, I say that not in a negative way, but my dad was proud of the fact Sure. That we were related to somebody famous. Uh, my dad was a school teacher. He didn't make a lot of money. He was not well known, mm -hmm. per se. Uh, but but he was proud of the fact that we were related to somebody famous and somebody who was talented, I, someone that actually I brought value. BJ and BJ brought value. He was a great singer, and he offered entertainment. And my I think my dad was really proud of that. And so, you know, uh, uh, you know, I grew up in a dysfunctional family. My dad, uh, you know, had problems. I won't go into it here. But, you know, as my dad began to have more personal problems, I began to look towards people like B.J. Thomas mm -hmm. as sort of a more as more of a, a mentor in my life and who I wanted to be more like. I wanted to be more like B.J. than I wanted to be like my dad. So B.J. and people like B.J. became more important to me as I became a teenager mm -hmm. and in my early 20s. And that's, you know, where I really connected with B.J., mm -hmm. I would say, uh, the first, uh, you know, right after I got married and um, – we connected with him when we came to California, especially. And BJ spent time mentoring my wife and myself. My wife, her as, as you know, Isaac, we talked about this, but my wife's very first interview ever, she's a broadcast journalist. Right. Her very first interview ever was with O.J. Simpson. I and that was that, right yeah. after he was acquitted with murder on the uh, uh, the trial of the century <laughs> TV mm -hmm. show. <laughs> it was a TV show. <laughs> it was real, too. But anyway, she interviewed him, and, and BJ, BJ was very, very, very impressed with the fact that Mindy got that interview, that I was involved with that. And he thought, well, hey, these guys got somebody like OJ to talk to him. And then he was just really impressed with that. And he mm -hmm. sort of took us under his wing and his wife, Gloria. I remember this, and I'm going to share this with you real quickly. Okay. Uh, his wife, Gloria, was his manager most of his career, uh, Gloria Thomas. And uh, we, we had dinner with them in 1996. They're in Arlington, Texas, uh, not too far from where you're at. Texas. And, uh, uh, and, and uh, at, the, at Harrigan's Restaurant, Harrigan's in Arlington. Mm -hmm. And I remember uh, Gloria saying, you know, Tommy, you know, you can use, and she said it, she just offered it to me. She goes, because she knew I was just getting started. I was 23 years old. She goes, Tommy, you know, you can use BJ's name to open any doors you want mm -hmm. to. I mean, feel free, use it. You know, I mean, it's, it's there. And I, I never did. I, as a matter of fact, you've known me over ten years, Isaac, and I think and you I, just you shared it. I had no idea. That. Yeah, I just had no idea. Yeah. I don't want to trade on someone else's name. I mean, my, you know, I, mean, I try to make my own yeah. way, uh, good, good or bad or, or indifferent. And uh, you know, if any, if I'm going to use anybody's name, it's Mindy's. <laughs> <laughs> well, as you're talking, Tom, I'm remembering when we saw BJ perform here in California. One of the most memorable uh, experiences we had was watching him at the Movie Guide Awards. Yes. So faith and film, and uh, oh, yes. we actually sat with an amazing group of people, and we were definitely placed among who who all was sitting with us. We had Brooks Douglas, who had just made a film about injustice. Kevin Downs, who produced, I can only imagine. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. We we were amongst some really good company. Bobby Downs and and yeah. B J performed. B J was one of the headliners that night at the Movie Guide Awards, uh, produced by Ted Bear and Susan Wells. Mm -hmm. And so we were, you know, God God positioned us that night. And as you know, we've had a movie release, a faith movie, uh, faith-based. It's called One More Round. Mm -hmm. And Tom and I and our daughter Charlotte uh, are in that movie, and it was released on Amazon Prime. So it went global, and we're just, uh, you know, we're just a, a loving family here and trying to um, – 
to do what we can to encourage people in, in their relationships and kind of went about it a certain way. <laughs> and and we're, we're developing several projects, Isaac, as you know. And, you know, I think, I think uh, you know, we're, we're focused also on trying to figure out the distribution piece because I think that's very, very important. But, but right. one thing, here's, here's the big reason I want to come on and talk to you about on your show. Um, I want to share something with you. Okay. And I don't know how this is going to go over. <laughs> but um, we were at lunch with BJ, uh, I think, uh, a, a few years ago. And he shared what he opened up with me and Mindy. And Mindy gets everybody, my wife gets everybody to open up and tell their dirty laundry. And mm-hmm. and uh, BJ, my, my cousin, BJ, I don't know if you know this. I don't know if you know, but he had a problem with drug addiction. He had a problem with alcohol, a pretty, okay. a pretty serious problem. Uh, where it pretty much, you know, stalled his career. I mean, he would he would be uh, he would be a no show at some of his concerts because he was too high, or he would walk off the stage when he was you know too drunk. And he admitted this. He went on you know shows um you know and and talked about this. He got his life he got his life right. Uh, Gloria uh, became a Christian in 1975, and ultimately BJ became a, became a born again Christian. So this is important to share this with you. Mm-hmm. He became a born, born again Christian, and he started singing gospel music. And started winning awards, like Grammy Awards. Um, so a few years later, he's the headliner at a big concert. I think it's in Oklahoma, the state of Oklahoma. No offense to Oklahoma. Uh, and Amy Grant, who I think you know who she is. Yes. She opened. She's an opening act for BJ. She's the opening act for BJ wow. Thomas. Okay. He's the star. She's the opening act. And BJ's telling me and Mindy this story. We're, we're at a private lunch with just him. And he says, you know, he starts singing his gospel music, and the crowd absolutely loves it. it it's a bunch of, you know, uh, faith-based people. They absolutely love it. They're all excited about it. And they're cheering him on. And it's, and it's like 18,000 people in the audience, which is, which is a big audience uh, at that time. And so then, right about that time, he's, you know, he decides he's going to sing, you know, some of, some of his other hits. He start, so, he, so he sings Raindrop. He starts singing Raindrops Keep Falling on My Head, which... Won the Oscar in 1970. Mm-hmm. Pretty, a pretty good song. Well, he starts getting boos in the crowd. People wow. start booing him. And then, and then, and then people actually start getting up and walking out. And and he, get, he naturally, he gets a little upset. You want to take it from here? <laughs> yeah, I think when you first come to know the Lord, there's a time when you're a baby Christian, right? Mm-hmm. It, it talks about the spiritual milk and, and the nurturing that's needed. And so he was thrust into the spotlight very quickly. Well, then you've got the whole religious spirit that can emerge from, um, you know, sort of one of the philosophies um, or branches of Christianity that I don't personally want to be associated with. Uh, but they um, they were very rejectful and, yeah, just kind of um, scorned him in front of everyone, I guess, is, uh, you know, just, just for singing anything but pure gospel music. So ba- so basically, because, because he wanted to kind of go back to some of his roots, uh, the people that, you know, uh, he had had... Um, Entrusted, turned his back, turned their back on him. Yeah. So I, I, I don't know. I, I, I kind of have a problem with that. And it's like I'm a Christian. I've been a Christian all my life. But you know, I as BJ has passed away, I remember that story in particular, kind of coming back to haunt me a little bit. And it's like yeah. I guess I want to say to people, you know, uh, you know, examine yourself and and you know, uh, I don't know, think about that. You know, I mean, BJ, BJ's right. faith was hurt. BJ's faith was hurt severely. Wow. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, we're gonna, we got to stop and take another break <laughs> here. Folks, don't go away. We'll be right back. Eighty percent of Americans want more family-friendly content. Eighty percent. So what's the solution? 24 Flicks On Demand. That's right. 24 Flicks provides unlimited, safe, family-friendly content without profanity, nudity, sexual content, and substance abuse. You can enjoy movies, TV series, comedy, sports, and so much more. Simply go to 24flicks.com. 24 Flicks, it's your home for unlimited, family-friendly, on-demand videos. Dad? This is a lot of work. It, It might take us the entire weekend. You think this is rough? Try building one of the most massive wooden ships in history without modern tools. Go ahead, think bigger. 
YBL is an experience like none other. Whether you are thinking about a call into leadership and ministry or something else. I would do it again in a heartbeat. I learned a lot about having self-confidence in myself as a leader. Even though we're teenagers, we still have the power and the capacity to change the world. God can do amazing things in a very short amount of time. The material that we studied, the activities that we did, really helped us to see that. Going to YBL and hearing from professors that are my future professors and professors now, coming to Asbury is really like a continuation of what Youth Become Leaders was. It was really important having a group of people my age who wanted to do what I wanted to do. We kind of end up as a family, which is the best thing I think about YBL. Welcome back to Faith on Film. We are here with Tommy Lee and Mindy Thomas. Uh, we've been talking a little bit about their relationship with uh, BJ Thomas. And uh, in the last few minutes that we have left, uh, Tommy and Mindy, um, you said something in that previous segment about how the, the Christians, uh, you know, basically treated him. Um, that seems to be something that is it's actually pretty common, unfortunately. Um, can you address that a little bit, perhaps? Yeah, I, I just would like to say, I, I want to say something positive that BJ did make his peace with that particular situation after it was over with uh, in, in the years to come. Mm -hmm. He ended up, you know, having sort of a good mix of gospel and his uh, classic rock and roll hits uh, and, and, and easy listening hits on, in his concerts. And, um, you know, I think he made his peace with with uh, with uh, Christianity and he, he learned to serve God and realize that God is different than people who follow God. And, uh, and no one's perfect. Do you want to, I know Mindy can finish better than Yeah, that. I mean, you know, it's all about amazing grace and that we yeah. receive that, which was done on our behalf, right? And then find out, well, how are we supposed to live that out? So, um, yeah, it's a real childlike concept and, and remaining childlike. Mm -hmm. You know, he was always fun. Um, he would say, hey, Tommy, are you taking, are you treating her right? And Mindy, are you treating Tommy right? So he wanted to kind of look out for us. And we needed that. We needed someone that could yeah. identify with what we're trying to do when it's more of a seedling than a dream that has happened. And so he kind of, kind of covered us in a way. So it was yeah, a, a he, true he, blessing. He, yeah. made, he made the dream that we had seem very possible. And, right. he, and he was in our life, you know, at a time when we needed to see, we needed to have something that was tangible that seemed impossible. And yeah. he was there in our corner. He invited us backstage and it was always fun. And he would tell us behind the scenes stories and yeah, just very entertaining guy as everyone knows. That's one. I, I did talk to somebody recently and, and mentioned that we were going to do this interview. And they said, I think they had worked with him on something and they had nothing but nice things to say about him. They said he was a wonderful okay. guy. I yeah, would like love to have met him. One thing for just real quick is he would, mm -hmm. uh, with the guys, you know, uh, they would, before they were going on, he'd get a brown paper bag out. And he'd be like, all right, what order are we going to do the songs in tonight? He'd write number one, <laughs> Jerry Pie, you know, number two. <laughs> Hooked on a feeling. Like, so it was just so down to earth, you know, that That's wonderful great. Texan thing. <laughs> That's wonderful. Well, listen, if somebody wants to get a hold of you, maybe, and, and just maybe want to know more about uh, about your relationship with BJ, or just want to find out what you're doing and how he has influenced what you're doing, how would they reach you guys? Oh, yeah. Twitter at Mindy Charlotte, and okay. you can find out about my broadcasts I've been working on. And then Tom. Uh, Tommy Lee Thomas on Facebook, or you can go to IMDb. All right. You don't want to give out your phone number or anything like that? <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah, I know, can you imagine? Because you know my show is watched by millions and millions of people. Okay, so that's not you true. are. <laughs> listen, you reach a lot of people, and, yes. and we're honored to get to be on your show. And uh, you know, you're a star in the Christian entertainment business. You've done a lot to help all of us, uh, especially me. And um, and you know, I mean, we're we're honored, Isaac. Uh, and so we got to make that movie eventually. Yes, and, we do, uh, because you promised me a part in it. That's right. That's right. We're gonna have, we're gonna have, we have a great scene where where you get executed by a machine gun. Oh boy! Oh. Hope you like squibs. Hope you like squibs. <laughs> <laughs> I really look forward to it, man. Well, thank you again for joining us. All right. God bless you. Thank you, thank sir. You, Isaac. Good, Good to see you, man. folks. Don't go away. We'll be right back.
Love the classic movies? Well, 24 Flicks has you covered. You can watch some of your favorite movies and TV shows you've known and loved. Watch anytime and anywhere and as many times as you want. Simply go to 24flicks.com and start watching now. 24 Flicks is your home for unlimited, family-friendly, on-demand videos. Meet Will. Will wants to make a movie based in Bible times. No, maybe a Western. Well, maybe an apocalyptic movie. A biblical era apocalyptic Western? That would be so original. But Will needs some sweet sets to bring it to life, and Will is 25,352 miles away from any of those sweet, sweet sets. Or so he thinks. Fortunately for Will, there is a solution. Introducing Capernaum Studios, your ticket to realistic locations and everything else you need to bring your period accurate story to life. Book a tour today, like Will, who is, um, yet to leave. You know they say it's really big. What's really big? Those aren't silly. Oh, I know. It's bigger than the size of our house. It's a little bigger than that. Like the size of two houses. <gasps> no two houses and a spaceship. I bet it's even bigger than the castle. Don't be ridiculous. That's impossible. Welcome back. If you'd like to watch a wonderful tribute to B.J. Thomas, just go to YouTube and look for Community of Grace AZ. They did a great tribute to B.J. Thomas, and I know you're going to enjoy it. Also, if you like watching good, wholesome entertainment for the whole family, you might want to check out 24 Flicks. Uh, simply go to 24flicks.com. Also, I would love to hear from you. Just write me at faithonfilmtv at gmail.com. That's faithonfilmtv at gmail.com and of course you can always follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter at Faith on Film TV. Well until next week, take care. Mm -hmm.